Hi, Professor. Hey, Professor. Oh, well, good, good to see you again. Have you got those five piles of scrap yet? Yep, got them right here. He ambles over to a strange contraption in the corner of the room and begins to tinker. Great, let, let me just... Mm -hmm, yep, okay, this will do the trick. Let me just get this running and then you'll be able to grab a keystone from it. Uh, I'll, it'll take another five scrap for each one you need. Uh, are you familiar with the Lost Dutch Oven Mine? <laughs> <laughs> Grim place, but that's where I found the chassis for that fabricator wedged behind an unusual pile of rocks. Seems like a good place to start hunting. Uh -huh. A Dutch oven is when you're like under the blanket and you fart, right? <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, you did? I think that's what that is. Oh, man. That's, that's something. All right. I'm on it. Cool. All right. So. Well, that depends. How many scraps do you. Ah, nah. <laughs> you want to go to Dynamite Dance? It's very close to where we yeah. are. No, I mean, he's like, I made a keystone for you. If you want another one, it's another five scraps. Right, so I can right. go there now. Oh, someone left a bundle of dynamite on the ground. You approach it cautiously, verifying that it's neither wired to a detonator nor connected to an actively sparking fuse. What an odd and dangerous thing for someone to leave lying around. I'm taking it. Got some dynamite. So nice. <laughs> hey, dynamite Dan. Oh, man. <laughs> honestly, honestly, this looks like... Um, so last year we... Um, we went driving like kind of like from from the bay area right east mm -hmm. um dr driving through like yosemite and whatnot after the wildfires oh it kind of looks like that oh man <laughs> anyway oops i can't uh. even talk to you it's just it's just a, a shop. shop but you there was it looked like there was something for a second do you know what I mean? Yeah, but... Nah. So you can actually buy a year's supply of dynamite if you want to. But I already have that. Yeah, yeah. So we don't need to buy anything from him. It's just a nice place where you can buy dynamite if you want to. But I can't talk to Dan? Guess not. How sad. Yeah, I guess it's just another way of being able to... Uh, to, to clear to, to the next area. Now, where is the mine? Uh, where is the Dutch? Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, top left. There it is. Lost Dutch oven mine. Let's go. Yeah. W with a shout. Well, more of a loud hiss. A skeleton leaps at you from the underbrush. He's wearing a cavalry hat and has a cavalry saber, but he isn't riding a cavalry horse, which I'm pretty sure is the main thing that differentiates cavalry from infantry, if not the only thing. Yup. Although nowadays, what even is cavalry? Tanks? No, that's artillery. You can fight him or you can give him the old drill sergeant drilling. <laughs> Do I want to give him the old drill sergeant drilling? Why not? Why not? Uh, ten hot! Just what do you think you're doing out of uniform, soldier? Look at this pathetic display. Buttons missing, sleeves torn, total lack of skin. And where's your horse? You're a disgrace to your unit. I'm putting you on latrine duty for a month. About face, march! Oh, the skeleton gives you a crestfallen salute and marches away. Well. Nice. That works. Yeah. Should probably spend some of your exp because we always forget to do that it's true how much do i have uh you have 284 well i mm. yeah 284 you can actually increase something if you want to i guess at some point i should up my base stats probably that sounds good this needs 300 mm. yeah probably base stats i like base stats muscle Muscle sounds good. You can hit people harder. Yeah, we can do that. We can do it again. Now we can't do it anymore. Yes, no, I we can. can. Okay, cool. Let's do it. All yeah. right. Let's beef ourselves up. Gin blossoms. I got blossom gin. Okay. Increases Oopsie. melee damage. That's pretty cool. If you want to be a bit drunk, that is. <laughs> This sluice isn't very tight. 
Good to know. Oh no. Wow, those are some stinky fissures. I can't get any closer, not without some stench resistance at least, huh? Well, good thing we just picked up them flowers. Now we got stench resistance. It's the stench here is barely tolerable. Man, good thing we got those flowers. Yeah, oh yeah, the lost Dutch oven mine. It smells <laughs> like farts in here. Loot em. Loot em. Oh, I got miners, miners pants, and a gas pants and a gas mask. With armor and uh, stench resistance, but mine is on all your stats. Oof. Well, good thing I have some. <laughs> Could have used this five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does that mean I, I actually don't need the stench resistance in here? Uh, maybe not. Grab what's left. Mmm, a jellied grits. escargot and instant grits. Moxie and Muscle. instant grits. Hey. What is the minor miner's pants? Yeah, do? so what? Those plus two armor. And the these are have. plus three muscle. I like plus three muscle. Yeah, all right. Oh no, it's a spittoon. Whew. I Get to reading. I don't know what kind of tobacco these miners are chewing, but it must be extra corrosive because this brass spittoon has a hole eaten through the bottom and dark stains underneath it where the spit leaked out. Although oddly, it doesn't seem to be leaking now, and it's half full. I guess that means the miners plug the hole with something. <laughs> I am going to inspect it Ugh. and make you read disgusting things. It's a spittoon. It's disgusting. You can practically see the stink lines coming off it. Come on, let's let's not do this. I will inspect <laughs> the spittoon. Whew. Oh, jeez. Fine, okay. You crouch down and take a careful look at the filthy spittoon. The inside is blackened with years worth of stains. The death broth inside has a rainbow sheen like a parking lot oil spill. And occasionally, a little bubble pops on the surface. You can actually feel a slight warmth radiating off it from whatever dire chemical reaction is taking place in there. You realize you're holding your breath, not deliberately, but from the human body's natural instinct for self-preservation. I'm gonna inhale. Uh... Imagine someone made a big pot of chili con carne and left it under the porch. Three rats crawl into the pot, eat half the chili, and then die. A week later, a family of cockroaches takes up residence among the writhing maggots. The cockroaches smoke thick black cigars, which they light with tufts of burning human hair. That's what it smells like. I'm gonna search it. Uh. Well, fortunately for you, the rainbow-colored film on the surface of the liquid coats your hand as you plunge it into the toxic stew, keeping it from being immediately dissolved down to the bones. The smell intensifies, and your stomach prepares to hose the poisons off of your arm with a high-pressure stream of vomit. <laughs> Keep searching. Uh. Your fingers touch something at the bottom of the spittoon. Better pull it out fast while you still have something to pull with. And... Ugh. You pull the world's most disgusting pair of pants out of the spittoon <laughs> and jump back as the hole at the spittoon's bottom, now unplugged, begins to leak steaming filth. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of the worst object I've ever been paid to think about. Narrowly defeating a leather bondage harness made from the skin of a clown. Mm. <coughs> Spit-soaked pants. Well. These pants these pants look and smell like they were used to lie on the bottom of a leaky spittoon. And there's a very good reason for that. <coughs> look, but they gave me two armor and two speed. Hooray! Hooray! Jesus. Why do you keep doing this? Because it's funny to make you read <laughs> this type of stuff. Pry it open. Nice. Can nice. of kerosene and a can of oil. It does look like a plunger, so. Mm hmm. Is this a lubricant or a lubricant? Both, in a sense, because it is a can of lubricant. Ah. Uh, how clever. 
heart. Yeah. Or a... Oh, we can oil it with a can of oil. Oh. How nice. I guess it is a lubricant. Mm. Off we go. Oh boy, Dutch ovens. You emerge from the elevator into a deeper shaft. By the light of your lantern, you see exposed meat veins on nearly every surface. It's unusual that there will be this much readily available meat left in a working mine. What were they digging for if not this? Curious. Oh boy, meat veins. Oh, yeah, I need meat. Meat nuggets. Meat nuggets. Meat nuggets. And a guy. Yeah, and he looks like he has some sort of issue. Yeah, he's got some, disco some sort fever. Of breakdown. He's got the disco fever. Well, this guy is totally out of it. He's gibbering and drooling and doesn't seem to even see you. Hello. Hi, buddy. Are you okay? Blah, blah, Billy Berto, go to blub. Uh huh. <laughs> you wave your hand in front of his face, but he doesn't react at all. Hmm. All right. Maybe you should try talking to him again. No? No, no, no. no. Okay. Maybe we need something. Shovels. Shovels. But no good. Broken pickaxe. A helmet. Oh, he's digging with his helmet? Digging with his hands. Oh no, this place is making them crazy. Guess we gotta go down deeper. They dug too deep. They dug too deep. Oh boy. Yeah. Finger bones are all splintered. Ugh. They're digging with their hands. Gnawed off his own hands before he died. Ish. But there's a diamond in a in poop. Extracted. An effluvious emerald. You can sell it for 500 meat. That's nice. That is nice. Now this guy worked his fingers to the bone digging and then worked his bones to the marrow. You have to get out of this pit right now. <gasps> the gouge marks are dark with blood. You have to get out of this pit right now. No. These scratches are just painted on in blood. But I'm gonna keep going. Can you save? Is that a thing you can do? As you get near the rocks, the voices in your head begin screaming too loudly to ignore. You have to get out of this pit right now. Fine. Do I though? I guess I do. Okay. I mean, maybe we'll maybe we'll, we'll come back later. Leave him to his children. I guess. Maybe I guess. we'll come back later. Maybe we're just not supposed to be here yet. What do I know? But. But I got this key. Maybe I should equip it somehow. What key? Well, I'm here because. Yes. Yes. I'm here because he gave me something. He was oh, like. Oh yeah, the El Vibrato stuff. So. Well, try to go down again then. Try to go down again. It's like. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. What was it called? El Vibrato Key? Maybe I just have to equip that. Maybe. Somehow. Or maybe we had to bring something with us from the professor's place? Maybe I should have... Oh, there we go. Oh. oh, this pile was pretty obviously made on purpose. Closer inspection reveals that the stones are mortared together. What could be hidden in here? <laughs> Dock the rocks into leaving. That's fun. We do have enough muscle. Oh, okay. <laughs> you are one smooth talker. Yes, I am. Well, I thought it was funnier to talk him into leaving. That makes sense. <gasps> There's a trapezoidal piece missing from this weird crossbar thing. But we have a key. So go up to it first, I guess. Then maybe you can use it. If you have a key. No, not the punch card. That's not it. Is it a key item? Is there such a thing as... Um, 
Maybe just, yeah, the transponder? Can you examine it? No, we don't want to shut it off, shut it down. Can you use the scraps? But we still have the scraps, we didn't get the thing. Huh. So oh, I guess we gotta go back to the professor then. Oh man. Maybe we did a wrong. All right. Maybe we we needed to actually give it to him. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Gotta Can go. I actually go from here? Possibly. That would be easier. Yes. yes, I can. Well, that's nice. Oh, new map location: the Big Apple. <laughs> it's a horse apple. Oh. Yeah, that's a pile of poop. It's the Big Apple. Oops. Okay, Professor. How do you take a keystone to the lost Earth of mine and look at that unusual pile of rocks? I yeah. Beyond uh, yeah, I have indeed. Yeah, but we couldn't get it. We know. Maybe I need to make a fabricate. Oh, a key. we had to fabricate a key. Okay. So yeah. And God now, damn it, we had to fabricate a key. That's and it. And now I have a keystone. Okay. And it is trapezoidal. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You want to go to the horse apple? Well, shouldn't I? Yeah, sure. Shouldn't I do this first? Sure, let's do that. And then we'll go to the big apple. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you encounter a cowpoke. Try cowpoke. Trying to ride her horse up the 45 degree surface of a rocky ridge. They're both having a hard time. Well, I'm gonna give him a boost. Yeah, you have a lot of muscle. Nice. Yeah, yeah okay. You dismount your you parallel get horse <laughs> and get <laughs> behind the diagonal one. <laughs> All right, All that's right. fine. Thank you. I'm resting my voice. I'm not gonna read all of that stuff. Mm. Even though I probably should. Oh, well. I just thought the parallel horse and the diagonal one was amusing. Well, pretty much everything in this game is amusing. I know, but that's why I read it. Gotta pick your amusements. Mm -hmm. Okay, this time, god damn, he's doing it. He's got them dance moves. So, do you think there's gonna be a monster? I don't know. Insert a keystone. There's a portal. Enter the portal. I will. Let's see what happens. We are in an El Vibrato chamber. I guess this is where I came from. Uh huh. You bend over to examine the device and accidentally stub your toe on it. It hurts, but the box moves. It must be lighter than it looks. Take it. An El Vibrato device. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can we take more El Vibrato devices? What's this? Oh no, you have learned the El Vibrato word for toilet. <laughs> it says, Nok hokro pacha no nokbe zivizom cholacho Pucha zeve. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The monolith is dark. There's a trapezoidal section missing from this box. Oh, you need another keystone for that one. Probably? Well, we don't have enough scraps for that. This one has a circular hole in the bottom. Might be a doorway, but there are no keyholes or handles or anything. This strange device has three buttons on top of it. I'm gonna push a button. Okay. Oh, a thing. Those things aren't friendly. Neither am I. Go for it. You got 60 An HP. El vibrato construct. Well, okay. I mean, you have action points. You can just do a, a strong attack. Yeah. The old one, two, three. Yeah, Bonk. pam, pam, pam. That's there we it. go. Hit him with the old one, two, three. And you got some little vibra That's great. Ah, we need those. I need those, yeah. So I guess we can just summon more constructs. By pushing more buttons. So. Push the second one. Oh. Oh, oh so you get to choose if you want a hard fight or an easy fight. We can try to take on three. 
So one of these things seem tougher than the others, right? No? 68, 68 HP, 60, 60, 60. Well, I can do the one, two, three thing and yeah, take out one of them. That works for me. And I'm gonna t go for the sure takeout. Yep, that makes sense. And Doc Alice, that's just nine damage. The bone saw only works on the undead. Yeah. Okay. But it does nine damage to everything, right? So yep. that's nice. So now you can take out the slightly stronger one with the old one, two, three. If I you don't have enough action points, I think for that, I have enough action points to do it again. So no, we have this? two action points. You can punch an opponent and disable them for a round. Uh, that costs two action points. Well, I guess. Okay. Give him the old conqueroony. And shoot again. And I think yeah. that means you can take it out with a punch. I next think turn. so too. Oh no. This. So. Yeah, that one wasn't, wasn't. It has 22, and my punch does 19 to 21. Yeah, but Alice is going to shoot as well, so it's going to be fine. It's true. You're going to get it. Shoot. Yeah. And now, if you get hit again, Alice can just heal you. Yeah, it's true. And you can just thwack it. I can thwack it. Thwack Give it the old, the old one too. And Alice is going to heal me. Yep. Good. Thank you, Alice. That was so nice of you. Very nice. So you're going to kill it before it can kill you. Just keep on thwacking. Yeah. Alice is going to... Unfortunately, she's one point away from killing it. Yeah. She does nine damage and has 10 HP. Yeah. Very sad. Mm. I really should level up Doc Alice off screen. Yeah. Grind some undead. Because mm -hmm. she can become quite strong, I think. Three scraps, a punch, punch card, card, and, and a, a complicated, complicated punch, punch card. card. I wonder what those are for. I don't know. So you probably can do an even greater challenge if you really want the good items. Yeah, but it's four of them. I I'll think. I'll oh, just okay. I'll just do that some other time once I've leveled up Alice. That makes sense to me. All right, but we can talk to the dude and just be like, hey, look what we found. Yeah, we can also make another key and use it inside there. Oh, that's true. There was another box in there that required a key. 